so <clears throat> we are going to start with the next topic of today that is internet and its effect <clears throat> internet is defined as a first network of linked computers operating under the internet protocol so internet is defined as the first network of linked computers operating under the internet protocol internet protocol okay there is an ip which is the internet protocol and it is governing the ways in which a number of computers actually you know gets linked they one 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 computer will share from one uh, information to another computer okay and all this infor all this transfer of files all this sharing of information gets governed by the internet protocol have you ever thought about the significance of internet though so did you ever think about the significance of the internet and the effect that is that it has in our lives internet is a cutting edge technological and high end scientific invention so it's a cutting edge technological it's one of the avant-garde that is technological invention and a high end scientific invention students students when we go through the essay we will get to know about the benefits of internet and the uses of the internet so when we talk about the internet we will see what internet is internet is basically what it is you know a number of computers are sharing some information are taking part are forming a number of you know forming links and they will actually share information from one computer to another and as such what happens is that internet is a high end technological invention scientists will actually you know scientists will know the students like we will get to know about the benefits and uses of the internet so one question that may arise is that one of the questions that may arise in your mind is how has the internet changed over the years so what has really happened that <laughs> triggered the change in internet actually internet has undergone significant development from the beginning until the present so internet is you know a number of things have been going changes from time to time internet is also one of the things internet has also gone through some developments from the beginning until the present from the beginning till the present it has gone and up on a number of developments a number of changes and internet has evolved to bring, become more interactive and user friendly so as such inter, you know internet has turned out to be more interactive we can really interact with a number of computers we can interact okay and it has also become quite user friendly man has benefited from it in daily interactions and transactions as well so we have actually you know with the use of computers we have or with the use of internet we have facilitated our interactions we have also we can also take part in some bank transactions in some net transactions and it is actually taking place under the effect of i mean so with the help of internet the internet is used extensively for various purposes including research writing content and data sharing emails job searching playing games listening to music and watching so we are finding a number of applications of internet for instance we can research we can conduct researches we can find out information on a particular topic using internet if there was no internet how could we, you know get access to www that is the world wide web it is there is internet and that's why we get to know a couple of things we can research we can know something new we can write okay we can also uh, if you are giving a, if you are given an essay if you if you have access to the internet you will get uh, access to a number of information using which we can you can jot down an essay you can uh, jot down a content okay and you can also find, find, uh, share your data share your files and data sharing has to do a lot with emails you know these 
these three these things are actually interconnected for example research and writing if for content writers or for writers what we do they write okay content can be digital content content can be web content content can be anything and everything but content is actually the king so if we need to write something we can use the internet find some information research and then jot down some content find which is the interrelation between these three things that is research writing and content data sharing we can also share some data using we can also email we can also share some files data can be anything files images videos so a number of things which we can categorize with the help of one single word which is data and emails we can actually send one email from one person to another emails are getting sent and we can also share data we can also search for jobs we can also play games we are not we cannot just do all these things we can also listen to music for instance musics of the recent re releases or you know recently released films and we can also listen to music watch the movies and so on and it's all happening thanks to internet only so internet has a number of applications so internet hand is benefit and its benefit you know if you if you are going to write we have to write like internet and its effect if it is the essay we have to write what are the applications of internet and we have just actually told like research writing content data sharing emails job searching playing games listening to music okay and even watching films these are all some of some or you know some of the other applications of internet merits of using the internet the internet has significantly reduced the use of paper and paper work by computerizing businesses like offices schools ngos and industries like computerizing you know, they, they are they are all going in online actually they are having some websites they have they can also share you know their profiles on facebook or any other social media so internet actually what does what we are not no more using papers we don't write on papers instead we write on the we write on the uh, you know there are some word files there are some word documents and it's basically computerizing the businesses it's also it's not only reducing the paperwork and paper use of papers but also it is computerizing businesses internet is assisting delivering current news and information from around the globe it helps us deliver some current news it also helps us deliver information across the globe with the expansion of the internet industries like education commerce and travel have flourished now as internet has actually crossed you know with the growth of internet there are certain industries that have actually flourished the value of the internet for learning and entertainment is very high internet is also playing a vital role in the spread of education and it also like entertainment okay it's also one thing now the internet regularly facilitates the use of access to public resources libraries and textbooks there are some online ebooks there are some online pdfs of textbooks available we can download them with uh, like if there is an internet connection we can download the ebooks the text the uh, online version of the textbooks and we can also have access to the libraries the internet can also make work easier by requiring less time and effort we no longer have to waste paper we no longer have to time waste our time and effort but with limited use of time and effort we can get things done video calls and other innovative tools make meetings and conferences easier there are so many you know video calls we like meetings you know if there were no video calls we have to meet make we have to we have to meet things meet a person in per like personally like meet someone personally but now what happens is like we can organize some video calls through zoom and through various other you know skype and all we can organize meetings and we can also conduct conferences which is quite becoming easier 
In addition to all of these, as mentioned in the previous paragraph on the uses of internet, it also facilitates banking. We have also mentioned like transactions, like interactions. We have also mentioned that thing. In like here, you know, internet has undergone significant development from the beginning to the present. So internet is it was not it's not like what it used to be before, but it has actually undergone some changes. And internet has also become quite interactive and user friendly, and that's why we love using it actually. If, if it was not user friendly, if it was not that interactive, we would not find we would not you know have the same enthusiasm in using it. So. It, it is it has become more user friendly and interactive it also facilitates our interactions and transactions by transactions we mean financial transactions we can take we can you know we can uh, take part in bank transactions net transactions and it's actually taking place with the help of internet so when we talk about internet and its effect before coming to the use of internet we have to write what internet is okay like internet has defined i before i come to the last time you know the point the next point in the essay i am going to explain you what we are going to write if you are given an essay on internet and its effect okay so you have to write what is an internet you have to define it and uh, did you ever think about the you can write it in your own words like did you ever think about the effects that internet has in our day to day lives we can also write like that and also how has internet changed we can straight away bold it and and uh, write like internet it is no longer the same as it used to be before now we are all near now after writing how the internet has changed we can have to write what are the benefits of using internet and uh, we have we have to write like ngos offices schools so they are all going online and internet is also delivering current news and information so basically also travel industry tour industry has flourished thanks to the expansion of internet internet has also helped internet also plays a vital role in spreading education and entertainment it also you know makes resources like public resources libraries and textbooks readily available ease of access means we are we can readily access we can actually access this public resources with ease okay so it is the is when we can access something with ease it is there is ease of access fine internet also makes things faster and makes our lives easier by so that we can spend less time and effort on a job actually and video calls and these are the side applications of internet and also internet we have referred to as the previous paragraph on uses of internet it also we have just gone through it demerits of using the internet now there are some drawbacks also despite the benefits of using the internet there are also some drawbacks our lifestyle and health may be impacted by the constant internet use if we use it you know using it to some extent is fine but if we actually cross the limit if we our life and health may get affected may get impacted so in that case we have to know what are the negative effects of uh, negative aspects of internet internet use too much you know use of so much informal internet if we overuse it it can result in a variety of health issues more often than not people spend their productive time browsing when we are idle when we have no work to do we spend our time browsing the internet and even though internet is now frequently used at work excess internet use may cause depression we are not aware of it though but if we continue to use internet if we continue to use it frequently more than you know more than a certain limit we our make it may cause depression also internet use primarily results in less time spent with families and friends knowing you are on unknowingly we will become alone we will get you know less time to spend with our families and friends due to the breach of internet and security like when we talk about the demerits of internet 
we have to write like internet it has some benefits but we cannot overlook the drawbacks if we like we can actually use we have uh, we may have some free access to internet or we may have some paid access to internet but if we continue to use it to some extent more than that actually our life and health may get impacted and uh, we can also write like you know internet can actually have you know inter it, it, it can have actually a number of it can result in a number of health issues and a variety of health issues there is not only a one type of health issue that it can can result in but it can result in a number of health issues and uh, ultimately what we do is we we people we spend more time of more time actually browsing uh, although some offices there are they are actually having a constant access to internet but if we actually use internet you know if there is an excess use of internet it can actually make us depressed and depression happens when we get when we get less time to spend with our families and friends when we become alone depression will follow us and it happens when we use internet excessive internet use will lead us to depression because we get spend less we can we get to spend less time with our friends and family and okay that is internet it actually it actually you know it actually helps us with uh, some financial transactions but what happens if our finance if our credentials are exposed if we if there is a breach of the internet security and privacy like if hackers may if hackers or if certain you know illegal people they get access they get hold of our credentials cyber crime is likely to happen so that's also the demerit of using we have now observed the internet is used and affects both students and working adults it's not just affecting the students but it also affects the working adults because they get to use internet they have their their own laptops or their own desktops they also work in you know if someone works in an office they have an access to internet they are also so it ultimately it does not just affect the students who use it but they also affect they also affect any kind of adults working adults even even though we are aware of the excess use of internet that it should be avoided we have to admit that despite its rapid expansion internet's full it potential has not yet been released also although there are there is a rapid expansion of internet we are not we are yet to realize we are yet to make the most of it yeah keeping while keeping the attention to our health and life so that's it that we can write on the effect of internet internet and its effect